Hi, and welcome to the presentation of our paper, Refine, Align and Refine for Adaptation of Semantic Segmentation to Adverse Conditions. In this work, we examined the domain adaptation of semantic segmentation models from a normal condition dataset, for example, cityscapes, to adverse conditions such as fog, night, rain, and snow. Importantly, in our scenario, a reference image is given for each target image, which represents an intermediate domain. The reference image captures the same scene as the target, albeit under clear weather conditions. It therefore overlaps in terms of location and sensor characteristics with the target domain, and in terms of visual condition with the source domain. Current state-of-the-art domain adaptation methods for semantic segmentation use self-training. Our core idea is to improve the pseudo-labels for self-training using the reference predictions in two steps. The first step is the alignment, where we aim to spatially align the reference image with the target image through warping. The second step is the refinement of the target predictions. So let's take a closer look at the alignment first. Here we design an extension of the warp consistency framework, which learns image warpings in a self-supervised way. Briefly, given two images i and j, we warp i with the synthetic transformation w to obtain i prime. W then serves as supervision for two flows, the direct flow from i prime to i and the indirect flow from i prime to i via j. Differently from the original warp consistency, we predict a flow distribution for each pixel. The predicted variance of the flow distribution serves as a proxy for the prediction uncertainty. So in the end, we obtain both a flow prediction and a corresponding uncertainty map, as shown at the top. This is important because it allows us to block out inaccurate warpings, as shown below. So let's move on to the second step, the refinement. Here, we aim to correct the target predictions using the warped reference predictions, QR. This refinement is simply a convex combination with the element-wise weights, alpha. The weights are influenced by two factors. First, it is inversely proportional to the confidence of the target predictions, which tends to increase as training progresses. And second, the weight is increased if the pixel is assumed to belong to a large static class, which is an empirical choice. Overall, our method can be added to any domain adaptive self-training pipeline, as shown in this slide. Current domain adaptive self-training methods include supervision of the model F theta by the source samples, as well as pseudo-label generation on the target sample through an exponential moving average model, here shown as FEMA. Our method refine as the gray shaded part. We therefore feed the reference image through the exponential moving average model to obtain reference predictions, then warp these to align them with the target predictions and finally, refine the ladder by leveraging both the warped reference and the corresponding uncertainty map. Lastly, here is a summary of the segmentation performance of our method on the two normal to adverse condition benchmarks, ACDC and Dark Zurich. Built on top of HRDA, our method is currently state of the art on both benchmarks. For more details and experimental results, check out our paper. Thank you for your attention.